In this video, I'm going to show you how we measure carbon and nitrogen isotopes in organic samples. We use an elemental analyzer configured with our Thermo Fisher Delta V stable isotope mass spectrometer. This is a continuous flow system that uses helium as a carrier gas. The elemental analyzer quantitatively converts the carbon in your sample to carbon dioxide and the nitrogen to dinitrogen gas, which we can then send to the mass spectrometer for stable isotope analysis. I will briefly lead you through the analytical cycle for this type of analysis. Samples are sealed in a tin capsule and loaded into the carousel. A sample is dropped into the oxidation reactor where it is timed to reach the hottest zone of the reactor just as a pulse of excess oxygen arrives. The reaction of tin with oxygen gives off a large amount of heat, which instantaneously raises the reactor temperature to 1800 degrees Celsius, facilitating complete combustion of the organic materials. The resulting compounds in the sample stream are carbon dioxide, dinitrogen, water, nitrogen oxides, excess oxygen that is not used in the combustion, sulfur compounds, and halides. The pulse of sample gases flows through a bed of chromium oxide, which facilitates complete oxidation of the sample components. A bed of silvered cobalt oxide removes the sulfur compounds and halides. The sample pulse then flows into a reactor packed with elemental copper wires held at 650 degrees Celsius, which removes the excess oxygen by reducing it to copper oxide and reduces the nitrogen in the nitrogen oxides to dinitrogen gas. The sample stream now has only carbon dioxide dinitrogen, and water. To remove the water, the sample is sent through a trap filled with magnesium perchlorate, which reacts with the water and removes it. The last step prior to mass spectrometer analysis is to separate the nitrogen and CO2 gases using a short GC column. The nitrogen peak will come out first, then the CO2 peak. They will then flow to the inlet of the mass spectrometer.